Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR 2001 PS2 Let's Play, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to do race 20 of 20, which means this is going to be the final race of the season and the final race of the NASCAR 2001 PS2 Let's Play. It's going to be at Lanamar Speedway, and to be honest with you guys, I've already locked up the championship. I mean, look at that points lead I have. I almost have a 400 points lead. I think right now I have a 400... Uh, a 382 points lead over Mark Martin. There's no question that I've already locked up this championship. However, I have finished in the top 10 in every race so far. Can I finish in the top 10 one more time and finish in the top 10 in every single race in the 20 race schedule? We'll find out. Last time I was here in Atlanta, I finished second, so I feel good about it. And uh, let's head to the racetrack. And, uh, wow, Kevin LePage is on the pole right now in the Napa 500. Let's see if I can beat Kevin LePage's lap time and win the pole. Off turn number four. Going to complete qualifying here at Landemar Speedway. Let's see what it's going to be. Uh, oh, wow, okay, dead last. That's not good. Uh, by how much? From 19th. Let's take a look at that. Wow, by half a second. Terrible. So I guess Kevin LePage wins the poll. Alright guys. Let's get this final race on the way. The Napa 500 at Lanamer Speedway in Hampton, Georgia. 1.5 mile racetrack. 32 laps. And here's the starting lineup. Kevin LePage, Kenny Schrader, row 1, row 2, Dale Jarrett, Terry Labonte. Row 3, Tony Stewart, Mike Skinner. Row 4, Bobby Labine, Jeff Gordon. Row 5, Wally Dallenbach, Matt Kenseth. Row 6, Jeremy Mayfield, Mark Martin. Row 7, Rusty Wallace, Dale Earnhardt. Row 8, Kyle Petty, Ricky Rudd. Row 9, Joe Nemechek, John Andretti. And Dale Nart Jr. and myself will be in the final row. The final race of the NASCAR 2001 Let's Play. It's underway. Green flag in the, in the air here at Lanamer Speedway. Coming off turn number four, did I get left in the dust quickly, but I quickly came right back. Got around John Andretti <coughs> to get out of last place. Now trying to get around Dale and our junior. Down the back straightaway once again. My goal is to finish in the top ten in this race. I want to finish in the top ten in every single race that I've done this season. It's pretty good. Nobody else has done that but me. Oh, which way are you going, Jim? Let me check. Oh, got in the back of him there. Getting around him now. Maybe around Ricky Rudd. So far, so good. <clears throat> Looks like I got a car with decent speed. Now trying to get around Kyle Petty for the 15th spot. A little contact with him there. And they try to split the middle between Dale Sr. and Matt Kenseth. Slide right by them as well. Guy run on Wally Dolan back to get into the top 10. And it does look like I clear Wally Dolan back. So right now up to the 10th spot. Oh, look at this three wide move I'm making on, uh, on Jeremy Mayfield. I do get around them for the 8th spot. Here comes with another run now. And yep, got another run. Trying to get around Mark Martin for 7th. Maybe even Kenny Schrader for 6th. But so far only side by side with Mark Martin. Does not look like I will make the pass. So if I get a run down the back straightaway here. See if I can try it again. Oh, I'm going to slide up in the Mark Martin loop. And now into the back of Jeff Gordon.
All right, well, fuel is slow now. I'm still beside Mark Martin for the seventh spot or the sixth spot. Can't quite get done. I think I'm gonna stay out an extra lap. The reason being is because I don't want to pit on lap 10, 20, and lap 3. I want to be able to pit on lap 11, 22. Hopefully, I can make this only on a two pit stop, guys. It'd be a good call by me. Whoa! Dang, who is that way up front? Is that Dale Jarrett leading with a huge lead? So this time I'll pit. Oh, man. Good battle between me and Tony Stewart and Mark Marr. So I will pit this time by. That way I can only make this on a two pit stop race. Lap 11 and lap 22. Alright. Ending down pit road. Looks like Mark Marr is going to stay out another lap. Alright, good entry in, so let's just uh, see what happens. And uh, there we go, into the pits. Let's have a good pit stop too. Alright, tire changers, you take forever. <clears throat> and this should benefit me in the long run because I'll have fresher tires than some of the drivers that did pit a lap early. And looks like it's gonna be a 18 second pit stop. Okay, guys, we need a little bit faster pit stops next time. I'm staying down here. I'm staying down here, guys. Just get by me. All right. Well, I'm coming off pit road now. Oh, Tony! Hello, I'm here. Jeez, he went from the apron to almost turning me. All right, some cars are coming off pit road now. So it looks like I will cycle out with seven, maybe six. I'm about to get around Mark Marn. Whoa, Mark! Jeez! Oh, Ricky Rudd just flew by me because I had to check up a little bit because Mark Marr just pulled in front of me. All right, we'll see where it's going to cycle through after this lap. But I think, I think actually all the pit stops cycled through. So it looks like I'm going to be in seventh place when it's all said and done. Getting a run on Jeff Gordon for the sixth spot. Yeah. See, he's on older tires than I am, so that's how I got around him. Gonna try to make a three wide for the fourth spot. There was actually some slight contact between Kenny Schrader and Ricky Rudd there. But I do get by him both. Uh, not quite clear from Ricky Rudd. Contact just a little bit. We're still making contact. And I think this time I am going to clear him this time. Okay, I'm gonna actually pit this time by. I'm low on fuel. I was gonna, I, I did say lap 22, but I know I can make it on fuel to the end. If I can make it 11 laps on fuel, and we're coming to 11 laps to go, I should be all right. So I am gonna come down pit road this time by. And uh, here I come, down pit road. Still running in the fourth spot. Nice entry down pit road. All right, so four tires, full tank of fuel. Then I'll be back out in the way then to finish off this race. So far, guys, it looks promising that I could finish in the top 10 in every race. But let's have a good pit stop, though. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 17 second pit stop. That's not a bad pit stop. Could have been maybe a little bit better, but... That's not bad. So it looks like I'm going to come out in 13th right now. Of course, not everybody has pit yet, so we'll see how everything cycles out. All right. Looks like pit stops are cycling through. I'm going to be back in the top 10. Oh, look at this. I've caught Bobby LeBlanc and Dale Jarrett. They're going to have a lot fresher tires than I am, though, so it might benefit them in the long run, but... I do uh, stay with them. Now I'm catching Dale Jarrett. These guys were way ahead of me before pit stops happened. So it's good to see that I'm up here. All right, fifth, fourth, third. All right, up to third. This could be for the second spot. I don't know who else is. Did not. 
Oh, it was Kyle Petty that stayed out for a little while, but now he's coming down pit road. Now Dale Jarrett is pulling away from me a little bit because he's on fresher tires. But, uh, I mean, you know, this would be for the race lead. Dale Jarrett's about to take the race lead. Yep, and I'm in second, so maybe, just maybe, maybe I could end this uh, I don't know. Like I said, these guys got fresher tires than I do. Bobby LaFay and Dale Jarrett. So they got around me. But we'll see what could happen in the long run. Final lap here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. <clears throat> and the final lap of the NASCAR 2001 Let's Play is underway. Dale Jarrett still leading. Bobby LaFay second. But I am running in third. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get any pressure from the back. So it looks like I'm going to finish off with the top three finish. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Ladies and gentlemen, Dale Jarrett's going to win the race. But most importantly, I am going to win the championship in the NASCAR 2001 Let's Play. And really, most importantly, I have finished in the top 10 in every race in this Let's Play. Nice. <clears throat> nice. Championship and has finished in the top 10 in every race. That is crazy. I didn't think going into this Let's Play, guys, I would finish in the top 10. Um, in every race, but man, I was strong throughout the season. That's crazy, but good run, you know, good run today. Uh, I wanted to win this final race of the season though, but it's all right. Uh, third place finish, not too bad to close out the season and, uh, yeah, that does it for this race. There are few accomplishments greater than winning the NASCAR Racing Championship. A winning team consists of a great driver, a highly skilled pit crew, expert shop mechanics, a dedicated owner, and supportive fans and sponsors. Congratulations to you, our EA Sports NASCAR 2001 Racing winner. You've done what it takes to prove yourself a champion among champions. All right, right on. Yep, I win the championship. Uh, Dale Jarrett does win the final race of the season. Six lead changes. Uh, Dale Jarrett won by 1.2 seconds. 170 miles per hour was the average race speed. And Dale Jarrett did lead the most laps. So, let's look at the uh, championship standings, the final standings. I have won by 397 points over Mark Martin. That's crazy. I have won the most races than anybody. I've gotten the most top fives than anybody. Only four races I did not... <clears throat> excuse me. Only four races I did not finish in the top five. That's still crazy to me. And I have finished in the top ten in every race. The highest driver that has the highest top ten finishes is Tony Stewart with 15 and Bobby Labine with 15. Uh, it looks like only... Uh, Half the field only got single-digit uh, top 10s. But look at this. There's only two drivers that did not finish in the top five. Kevin LePage and Wally Dollenbach. However, Kevin LePage got three top 10s. Wally Dollenbach, five top fives. And uh, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only ten different race winners. In the 20 race season. However I got the most wins with 5. Uh, and then the other one is 3 with Mike Martin and Dale Jarrett. And I got the most winnings as well. Alright season stats. 3,386 points. Winning the championship. 20 starts. 10 was the average start. Average finish of 3rd. Best finish was 1st because I've won 5 times. Yeah 5 wins. 16 top 5s. 20 top 10s, 145 laps led, laps completed 615, laps possible 615. So I have finished on the lead lap in every race as well. Uh, 95 bonus points and $1,751,630. I've won at Bristol, uh, Daytona Night Race, Darlington, Martinsville, and Talladega this season. Uh, I've gotten the pole. Uh, how many times have I gotten pole? One, two, three, four, five, 
Looks like five poles as well. Richmond, uh, Sonoma, Sears Point basically. Watkins Glen, Richmond, and Martinsville I've gotten the pole. And I've led the most laps at, uh, let's see, in four races, which was Sonoma, Daytona Night, uh, Martinsville, and Talladega. So anyways, guys. That's going to do it for this NASCAR 2001 Let's Play. Let me know in the comments below what did you think of the NASCAR 2001 Let's Play. And I'll think about what the next NASCAR Let's Play is going to be. Not sure what it's going to be next, but you guys would just have to find out. Just keep supporting me on YouTube, and you'll see what the next NASCAR Let's Play is going to be. Anyways, guys, take care. Have a good one. Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. into SC4. You have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.